All right, guys, we're back. Been a long hiatus, but it's time for King of the Hammers. And my truck is torn apart. So, what we're doing is ditching the carb. And we got the intake manifold right here, all cleaned up. We're putting on a Holly Sniper. I got adapter from LC Engineering. I got block off plates, water block plates. I got fucking UGR block plates. I'm going with a two barrel carb setup. So, so I got this bad boy. Yeah. Ugh. all the horsepower right here I haven't seen a lot of guys do this but I do it a lot at my shop I'm doing one on that Chevelle I did one on that Chevelle way back there oh I did one on this truck right here did one on that step van right there yes Holly 2300 we got this adapter from LCE that goes from the Toyota carb. I gotta bore it out, you see. Bolts on there, bore it out a little bit, bolt the holly on here, block off all these vacuum switches, EGR ports. <laughs> uh, I already blocked off the fuel pump. We got plates to block off the EGR tubes up here. I'm gonna block off that O2 sensor and put one in for the Holly. Since last time, I put a nice fan on there. Not a very good job, but it'll keep her cool. So yeah, I'm gonna keep plugging away. I got the rough, the rough start there. This one's a little oblong, but what are you gonna do? That's the original bore right here, and then you gotta space it out more this way. So. Clean that up probably with a drum sander. There she is. In all our glory. Transitions, huh? So, started off with this aluminum carbide bit. Tried this one, didn't work. So, I went to this. Alright, got the intake manifold back on. Um, water block plate on the bottom. Uh, fuel pump block off plate. I got the smog pump block off plate in the back uh, Whatever this thing here is um, One temp sensor right here um, The OE sensor is right here, but these are like a proprietary shouldered Stud or uh, block off so Probably temp sensor wouldn't fit in there block off there Carbs looking good. I'm gonna have one port on the bottom to run this coolant line to to maintain my heater. And yeah, keep plugging away. The carbs about to go on. 
Look at that. Looking pretty. Um, all right, let me try to do a quick recap. Pull the fuel pump off, pull the coolant temp sensor out, add the Harley temp sensor right here because it's the same port, uh, but the threads are different. Plug this thermal switch, this thermal switch, this thermal switch, plug whatever this is. Block off for smog or EGR type stuff. Block off plate underneath with the OEM. The original nipple on this thing because LC supplies a 90, which obviously this worked better. Um, new, new intake manifold gasket. I got a gasket coming for the fuel pump block off. It's not here yet. Um, so basically it was just pull a bunch of off. All the electronics, all the vacuum lines for the carb. You don't need any of those vacuum lines. All you're going to need is vacuum lines for the distributor, which you can get off the Sniper. The sniper has three ports. There's a ported uh, intake manifold vacuum, which only comes on, on off idle. There is a full time uh, vacuum, which I'll run the distributor. And there's a PCV, I believe, and a brake booster. So I left this one in the manifold. That's for the brake booster. I may end up plugging that off and putting it to the holly depending on where that switch is or where that plug is may just leave it right there but so far cleaned right up i'm going to start you know getting rid of some of this wiring you've got one wire for the starter you've got one wire for the oil pressure switch and who knows you know you don't really need anything else besides that um i haven't started on this side yet I'm gonna clean those up, clean those up. Got block offs for that. And so far it's been pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I don't know why more people don't do this. Maybe I'll find out it runs like shit. who knows. But this is a adapter plate from LCE. They have, uh, it's a Toyota bolt pattern. There's two studs under here, two right there, two like a holly two barrel carb. And that's what that sniper is based off of, that flange style. So it should bolt up, no problem. They tell you to port this a little bit. You can see I match those ports up real nice. Um, this has got a swirl port in here. It's actually like big threads. So maybe that'll help too, who knows? So yeah, keep plugging away. So I just set it down on there. You can see the adapter plate works as it should, fits right up. First problem I see is that this throttle linkage hits this water port right here. Now LCE supplies a block off plate that you can delete this whole thing. There's a bolt there and then a bolt under there you can't see. Delete that whole thing, which would uh, well, you might actually hit the this plate back here, but no worries because those two holes down there, that's for a GM transmission kickdown. One of those is for a 700 R4, one of them is for a Turbo 350. I obviously don't need either of those, so I can just snip that whole thing off and it will no longer interfere with those. So that's what I'm going to do right now. There it is. Bam, look at that. Looking good. All right, it's a new day. Not the same shirt, I swear. I have two green ones. Sniper's on. She fired up last night. Sounds a little rough, but the install went pretty good. I'll show you some details. All right, so these snipers are super fucking easy to wire up. You got these main plugs coming up here. This is just power, ground, ignition, and attack signal, which is that. 
yellow wire. So they come with the fuel pump relay and main fuse. Got them run down here, tied into the battery right here, grounded right there. I got ignition power. This plug came off the carburetor. The There was a plug on the carburetor. One of them goes to the choke, one of them goes to who knows what. I got it tapped into this black and yellow wire. Was it, does it have a red dot? I don't know. Yeah, black and yellow. It's got it stuffed in there for now. Works great. Came over here with the coil negative wire. Got it tapped into the negative side of the coil. There's a black and a tan or something like that. Tap it into the black one and that's it. I got fuel pump wire right there. Goes back to the fuel pump. I'll show you that right now. Fuel pump's mounted right there wired up. I just use the existing straw from the tank. I got the post filter right here. Screw clamp so you can change the filter. Boom. Got the return side going up into the return side back to the tank. Got the evap canister hooked up. Um, so yeah, she fires up. I got my vacuum run to ported and you run, what is it? The top one goes to ported manifold vacuum. This one. And then the bottom one goes to manifold vacuum. Well, she runs. I got a massive exhaust leak because I just wanted to get it fired up. The header's got a crack in it, and the block off plates aren't sealed very well. So I'm gonna put an eBay header on it, but. Officially snipered. Got some little throttle linkage. All right, got my little intake tube on there. That's all I had for couplers and filter and all that shit. reducers upon reducers and adapters. Tried to steal this out of Chevy. Poor girl. Um, but that's it for now. Uh, I just ordered a fucking eBay header. Super stoked. Stainless steel two wheel drive, second gen forerunner. Well, we'll see if it works, but it is Chinese stainless, which I love to work with, and that'll make putting the O2 sensor in a lot easier. It's a lot, uh, it runs a little funky right now because it doesn't have an O2 sensor, but it does rev up nice. The vacuum canister, I don't know if I said this already, this is uh, leaking on both sides, uh, both diaphragms, so I'm getting a new one of those. This thing is going to have some horsepower, believe it or not. Um, I don't know if I showed you this. That's my little throttle linkage adapter piece. Make that 90. No kinks. Works well. Um, I, pl I plugged the OE coolant temp sensor back in. I have the OE oil pressure switch down there. I have, I have an aftermarket tack. Oh, I don't know where it is. So I'm not gonna be using this screen. The screen will be in the glove box, but I'll give you a little preview. So there's all your stuff. Let me make sure it's in neutral. Fires right up. Two sensor at the moment, unplugged, 
So that'll make a big difference. And the vacuum and bass will make a big difference. Weekend. Well, we got more big news for the. I'm gonna dub this thing the cr the crusty crawler. You know her well. It's a big pile of junk. Rusty, crusty. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call it the crusty crawler. So the EFI is almost done. Waiting on a piece for the exhaust. But I picked up these bad boys. Going. So I got some Goodyear Wrangler MTRs. Where's the number? 37s. 37 by 17s. Oh. I had to pick up some cheap wheels. My buddy hooked me up with some cheap wheels from Four Wheel Parts. Replace those with some 17s. Just got them mounted up, waiting for this bad boy to pop. Dog is not gonna be happy when that happens. But, so these are gonna go on and then back to the exhaust work and should be ready to go. Well, I had to leave town on an emergency and King of the Hammers is like a few days away. So Carter was kind enough to come pick up my truck and finish up the little tidbits I had left. He added a fuel system because I didn't like the stock tank and he changed out my third member because a couple gears were broken and he did a couple other little things that made a huge difference and helped me get down there on time. Well, I'm at Sam's shop. Got the trailer, getting ready to pick up his junk. Um, about an hour early right now which is fantastic. Here we are, got Sam's truck over here at my micro shop. Um, got the rear end pulled out there. Uh, so I'm sitting underneath the truck now. We had one stud that would not come out or unscrew, but uh, I managed to get it out with a little effort. Um, and we're cleaning it up, we're gonna get that thing dialed in for Samo. Here we go. Okay, so we're still working on this rear end. Um, what I didn't realize right offhand was there's a massive dent um, in this housing itself. Um, I'm gonna try to bang it out as best I can and then we'll try to uh, reinforce the uh, pumpkin here. Okay, so we're back. Um, what, uh, what another issue we're running into is the drain plug was ripped out. Um, so I'm trying a kind of a trick here where I'm actually putting the drain plug in from the inside um, to clean up the threads and then hopefully I can start it in the other direction and maybe even weld it in. All right. Well, I can't thank Carter enough. Uh, he did a great job getting my truck back together and it was very gracious of him to handle it while I had to go out of town. Uh, we made it down to the hammers. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, brother. <laughs>